So you've built your streaming setup, you click that stream button and you're excited to kick off your streaming career. Then, you jump in and your game feels super laggy, your chat's complaining about noisy audio and then... You start dropping frames. Hours of prep down the drain. Streaming's a blow up. Well, never fear because in today's content power up, we're here to help you through some common streaming issues. First, let's tackle audio issues. Probably the most common issue is buzzing or noisy audio. This is generally caused by electrical noise. There's two ways to solve this. The cheap way is to get a ground loop isolator. You want to put one of these in between your output of your mixer into your streaming PC. The correct way to fix this issue would be to buy a power cleaning device to plug all your equipment into. If you have a home setup, I'd recommend this, but if you're traveling, it's extra weight you can probably do without. Also, be sure to use XSplit's audio preview functionality to hear the same mix as your viewers. To set accurate and correct audio levels, use the mixer extension. Make sure your game audio doesn't overpower your microphone audio. Last but not least, if you've recently had a Windows update, make sure to check if it has changed your default audio devices, which can affect your streaming software. You may need to limit the frame rate of some games if you're streaming on the same PC. You can do this with XSplit's game source. Even if you have a monster PC, try to use a refresh rate divisible by 60, like 120 or 180 Hz. If you have an unstable internet connection, enable adaptive bitrate to keep your stream live. If your webcam has poor frame rate or looks too grainy, add some lighting and reduce the exposure and gain settings. If your capture card shows as unavailable, close other software that can detect it as a video device. Try refreshing and as a last resort, unplug it and plug it back in. It's a classic, but it works. Finally, if you're new to Twitch, make sure to do enable VOD archive so you can make clips for social media. And remember, Facebook and YouTube have a four hour time limit for VODs. What are some common issues you've had and how have you fixed them? Let us know in the comments.